So in the last video, we made this drift. Since then, I've actually taken and smoothed that out a little bit more. Uh, you can see that the hammer marks are very light, so it's very easy to clean up. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to make a tomahawk. And that tomahawk is actually going to fit this handle. And uh, I actually got these from Crazy Crow Trading, uh, which you can find online. And um, they're fairly reasonably priced. So what we're going to do now is we're going to measure out the overall length. And we're going to cheat because what we're going to do is we're going to use the mandrel. Or better yet, we're going to use the handle to actually measure it out. So what you want to do is we're going to want probably about four inches, three inches from the end. So that's just, yeah, about four inches from the end. So what we want to do is we want to mark it at four inches. So there's our four inch mark. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to put a mark right at the very back of it. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to roll it one time around. When we get to the other side, we're actually going to put another mark. That's about how much material that we need in order to cover the full distance around there, around the uh, handle. And that comes out probably to about, yeah, four inches, four and a quarter, four and an eighth inch inches. So now that we have our four inches, four and an eighth, for this particular handle, and four inches, we can mark it and cut it. So I'm going to mark it here and cut it. So there's my four inches. So that's where I'm going to cut it at. So again, we're going to cut it at that four inches. Now we're going to mark it. So using this handy dandy uh, edge holding uh, hold fast, we're actually going to uh, mark it. Of course, this is a little bit bigger than designed for, but that's okay. It'll still work. Now I can mark it on edge easily. And again, the video for how to make this is on the YouTube channel, JLP Services Inc. Now that we have good marks, now we're going to take and turn it. Before we turn it over, we're actually going to do some uh, peening on it. We're going to peen it only in one direction. So I'm going to wait for me. Again, then we're creating the cutting edge here. And this is the outside of the uh, cutting edge. So I'm actually doing the outside of it. You see the inside is very nice and looking good. So as I'm doing this, I'm actually angling it away from my hand. So it's straight and then I start turning just ever so slightly. And I offset it. I end up pushing it down more over the horn. So now to do the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to go towards me. Again, over the edge. And now I'm pulling towards me with the hammer. I'm just trying to match the same radius with the same look as I had on the other side. like 
So that's pretty good. Just get the quick wire brush. What we do is we're just going to fold it in half around the horn and keep an eye out for our original marks. Our base is just going to square it up and match it up. Just like so. Keep it in an eye and make sure that the jaw stays in alignment, or I should say the eye stays in alignment. Okay, now that we get to that point, we're actually just going to go and close it right up. Just like so. So it should like that. These are a little bit of out of alignment, that's okay. What we're looking for is we're looking for the uh, bit to be even. As you can see that's pretty good. So that's what we're looking for at this point. And our sheet, we're going to take our drip and stick it in. All we're doing is really just closing up the gap here. So when we come time to weld it. So we're not really doing anything to modify anything. We're not doing anything to uh, try to make it fancy at this point. All I want to do is get my spacing pretty close to being correct. So now we have that. Okay. So with the eight, with the uh, uh, It's fairly well centered, but I shouldn't come in from the back side now. Just give it a couple whacks, and then close it up again. Couple whacks, close it up again. Lift, close, close, pop it out. Okay, now we're going to do is we're going to put some flux on. So at welding heat, we're going to come in and close that gap up right at the eye. We're not working back at all. from another JLP Services uh, Inc. video on um, actually making uh, Hooper box tongs um, or drop jaw tongs. So anyways, now that it's welded, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drift the eye again.
Okay, so now that we have that welded up, we'll go through and we're going to refine, or I should say now that we have that drifted, we're going to come through and refine the weld area a little bit more. Taper the other end of it for your scarf. Snap it off. Back to here. Make sure you have it in the right way. Insert it. Split the weld, that's okay. 